In addition to hosting Detroit Black Journal, Cliff Russell made history as Detroit's first African-American press secretary in the mayor's office. He was also the first black senior communications director in Major League Baseball history when he worked for the Detroit Tigers. Sadly, we lost Cliff in 2018 at the age of 61. Detroit's Black Historic Sites Committee is hosting a tribute dinner in his honor on October 24th. His brother Greg couldn't be here today, but he sent this message. Hi, I'm Greg Russell, and there are two things you need to know about my brother Cliff. First, he loved his family. His wife and his children were his heart. Also, he loved the city of Detroit. Cliff had knowledge of every neighborhood in town. He could tell you its history. He could tell you the history of pretty much every building within the city. Most importantly though, he loved everything about Detroit. That's why this award is so very, very special, coming from the Detroit Historical Society and the Black Historic Sites Committee. Cliff Russell, a true Detroiter. And joining me now is Cliff's other brother, Michael Russell, along with Karen Hudson Samuels of the Black Historic Sites Committee and Malika Pryor from the Detroit Historical Society. Thanks to all of you for being here. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you for having uh, us. So your brother was such a dear member of, uh, of this community, of this family here at Detroit Public Television for such a long time. I think everybody really misses him. It's really great to see this opportunity to celebrate his life. You know, I, I'm, I'm always so happy to uh, talk about Cliff mm -hmm. because seeing him from a young boy, of course, I knew him my whole life, right. um, to reach the, uh, the culmination of his professional career and accomplishments was really a, a, a great experience for a younger brother yeah. to see and it left good footprints for me. Um, you know, and the thing about Cliff is he was a, a product of the era. He came through during the, uh, the 60s and 70s. You had a lot of the uh, Black Pride movement, the Civil Rights movement. Um, his experience going to Roper mm -hmm. uh, with a lot of other very uh, gifted young students and a lot of gifted African-American students really kind of fermented him in a, uh, uh, an educational or cultural environment where he was able to use all of his talents and skills uh, throughout the course of his life, which was, uh, again, a, a blessing to me as a family member and to the cities at large. So I was really... Uh, Really happy to see his yeah. accomplishments throughout life. Yeah, you know, I, I always sensed uh, that his role as barrier breaker uh, mm. was something that that he got from his family, from from home. That there was a rich kind of family tradition of this idea of forging into places that African Americans, in particular, were not welcome. Well, you know the story of my dad. Yeah, that's he right. was the first African American commissioner in the city of Detroit history mm -hmm. when he was appointed by. Roman Gribbs right. as the Department of Public Works Commissioner. Mm. And, um, you know, so it, it always let us know that if you worked hard, and of course, Dad started as a laborer mm -hmm. with the Department of Public Works back when you used to have a three man garbage truck. <laughs> he was one of the guys who threw the garbage cans. <laughs> right. And uh, so it, it gave us a sense of necessity for hard work. But Cliff was just, you know, uh, academically and intellectually gifted, mm -hmm. uh, which was, you know, it was a really a, a, a wonderful combination of skills. And, and talents he had, because he was physically, was a good athlete yeah. and could have rested his laurels completely on his athletics. But the environment he was shaped in uh, demanded a more um, broad, interdisciplinary approach to life. Yeah. And, um, you know, again, I, I, I often hearken back to the Anita Simone song, To Be Young, Gifted, and Black. Yeah. Yeah. And that was one of the, the uh, I think, the uh, initiatives that really propelled him that you couldn't just be a good athlete, but you could also be a gifted musician. Right, right. And a gifted and do orcher, all kinds of and things, an academian, right? yeah. you know. And yeah. so he he, uh, he was able to accomplish a lot of different goals, a lot of different plateaus, which again left a legacy for our family yeah. in the city that yeah. I'm still very, very proud of. Right. Uh, Karen, uh, and uh, uh, talk about this, uh, talk about this, this wonderful event we're gonna have. Well, it, it is a tribute dinner. Mm -hmm to Cliff Russell and his brother had says he was truly a man of the community, the people mm. across various careers, sports, academics, and journalism. And we know that journalists are the ones who write the first chapter of history. Mm -hmm. And as a result, Cliff had a great love and passion for Michigan history yeah. and Michigan historical markers. So we were honored, the Black Historic Sites Committee, and we're an affinity group of the Detroit Historical Society to pull together an event that when people come, it's gonna be a special evening. Yes. We've got family. We have his nephew who has the James Russell 
project, group playing music. Um, there's going to be an exhibit outside the Booth Auditorium of pictures from his life, mm -hmm. sports, academics, uh, journal, you know, the whole gamut. And so people who are from Detroit and read newspapers, listened to the radio, watched TV, as we saw from the clip, yeah. he had his footprint all over, Clef, right? everywhere. <laughs> and 9.50 a.m., the, the Superstation was, was, he had a talk show yeah, that really reached a lot of people. With an earshot range of Chris, Cliff Russell's voice, you really learned a lot. He was an activist, yeah. journalist, historian, great Renaissance yeah. man. Uh, really important for the Historical Society and Museum to be part of this. Uh, we talk a lot about making sure that African Americans in particular get their due in, uh, yes, in these institutions. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so one of the benefits of the Detroit Historical Society is that we manage, we operate museums, structures, brick and mortar, and they are so incredibly important to continuing and amplifying voices that matter. Mm -hmm. And Cliff Russell's voice is obviously one of those, particularly to Detroit. I mean, it's our mission to tell Detroit stories and why they matter um, for the society. So it was a no-brainer for us when the Black Historic Sites Committee, I serve um, within, the, within the organization as the liaison, as the institutional liaison for Black Historic Sites. So when we first started this conversation, it made absolute sense because that, that imprint, that footprint that Mr. Russell left on the city of Detroit includes the Detroit Historical Society, Includes, by extension, the Black Historic Sites Committee, um, and his passion for Michigan history and Detroit history is something that informs the kind of work that we do um, as a society that's constantly evolving and shifting. We are realizing and have realized that um, we need to, but we also really want to mm -hmm. tell dynamic interesting, nuanced stories, and in many instances, speaking to individuals, luminaries like Cliff Russell, helps to inform and then shed light on all sorts of communities and moments in history that are really Detroit's history, yeah. um, and African American's history more broadly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how can people uh, be part of this event? Well, it's very easy. Mm -hmm. If they go to the <laughs> Detroit Historical Society, you can purchase tickets online, and you can see a lot of information about the Detroit Historical Museum itself, which is quite interesting. Yeah. It's going to be in the streets of old Detroit, which is itself quite a, a wonderful place to tell yes. a tribute and have a dinner. So they can go online, yes. um, purchase the tickets. Again, DetroitHistorical.org is the Detroit website. DetroitHistorical.org. Yes, Super easy. You very much with that. You are all in there. DetroitHistorical.org. Click on that. and. Um, you know, purchase your tickets. Yeah. And so it's going to be a dinner, there's going to be music, uh, the family will be speaking, yeah. we'll have some of the journalists that Cliff will work we'll with work telling them. their stories yeah. as well. Yeah. And so it's really a special evening tribute yeah. to a man who really had quite an impact and influence yeah. on the city of Detroit. Yeah, yeah. no, a great Absolutely. way to honor a great guy. Right, uh, indeed. So congrats and thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah. Thank you.